students, now I'm going to discuss the gravitational force. Already I discussed the synopsis part of gravitational force I discussed. Here the varieties of problems becomes. One is the problems are based on the orbital velocity, escape velocity, time period. These are the one set of problems. Second one is the problems based on Kepler's laws. That is problems based on Kepler's laws. And third one is, second one is orbital velocity, escape velocity, and all that. Third one is based on the kinetic energy, potential energy, binding energy, and all that. These are the, the set of problems, different set of problems under gravitational force. Today, students, now in this video, I will go to discuss the purely the problems on Kepler's laws. That's okay. Now, here, now let us recall it, the synopsis part of it. In the Kepler's law, he said the third statement. First statement is what? All planets will rotate around the sun in elliptical shape here. All planets rotate around the sun in elliptical shape. The second one is what? You know that here. This is the elliptical shape. Here it is a sun. The sun is at, at this point. Okay, now this is the sun. Here it is a satellite. The satellite will be what? Rotates like this. Here, when satellite rotates now, it covers equal area in equal interval of time that I told you. That is called as an aerial velocity. It is called as an what? Aerial velocity. That aerial velocity dA by dt equal to L divided by 2m that is. This part I discussed in the previous class also that is. Here, L is called as an what angular momentum that is. This L is called angular momentum. Angular momentum, how you are writing is mv into what r that is. mv into r that is. Here the many problems are based on the angular momentum that is. And another concept in this is what here when satellite rotates now that is here. Now, suppose satellite rotates like this. At this point, the velocity is in this direction. It is V1. At this point, the velocity is what V2 is. This point is called as in a farther point. It is very away from the sun. This is the distance is more less. And this distance, I will call it as a what? R2, I will call it as R2. Next, this distance, I will call it as a what R1. I will call it as a R1. Of course, the same satellite, the mass is M. Here also the mass is what it is, M here. So that according to that equation, can I write M V1 R1 equal to M V2 into what R2 it is? Here. M, V1, R1 are the quantities where the sun, where the star is here, where the star is very closer to what is the star is here, very close to what sun. This is the sun. This is the what? Satellite. This is satellite. This is the farther. This is what? Nearer. Remember students here, here. V1, M will be get cancelled here. This M, this M get cancelled. V1, R1 equal to what? V2 into what? R2. Sometimes they are they are asking the relation between the V1 and the V2. V1 by V2 or V2 by what? V1. In that case, V1 divided by V2 equal to R2 divided by what? R1. That is one. Sometimes they're asking the ratio of kinetic, kinetic energy at point A and the kinetic energy at point B, they're asking that is. Kinetic energy at point A, that is of M V1 square divided by what? V2 square equal to what? R2 square divided by what? R1 square. 
here. What, what happens? Kinetic energy means V1 square divided by V2 square equal to R2 divided by what? R1 whole square. Yeah. You might ask question, sir, how do you say that this is the kinetic energy? Kinetic energy equal to what? Of M. Here also of M. Here also of M. Of M, of M is what? Get cancels. Only what? V1 square divided by V2 square equal to R2 divided by R1 whole square. These are the case values. And also, remember students here, where the velocity is more, where the kinetic energy is more, always here, one minute, I'll rub it. Kinetic energy where it is more, they are asking about it sometimes. Yeah, this is the point. Here it is. A, here it is. The sun is there. Here, yeah. this is the point A. This is the point B. As satellite moves, this is satellite moves. At this point, kinetic energy is more. I already told you that is kinetic energy maximum. I guess. But potential energy is minimum, it is. But potential energy is minimum, that is. It is minimum. What about at this point? At this point, they're exactly what opposite. At this point, you see, kinetic energy is minimum, that is. Kinetic energy is minimum. But Potential energy is maximum, that is. Okay. Like this, the variety of problems becomes on the what? Kepler's laws. Here, the second law, what it says is, the area velocity, it will remain constant. And sometimes they are asked a question, that is Kepler's second law, it is a consequence of what it is. It is the, what is the significance of it? The significance is law of conservation of angular momentum. That is significance. Law of conservation of law of conservation of angular momentum. Angular momentum. This is the significance of Kepler's second law. Next, come to the other factors. And another law is that when the satellite rotates around the any planet rotates around the sun now, where it is T square, T is directly, T is directly proportional to what? R Q, not T, T square is directly proportional to what? R Q is. This one you have to remember that. Yeah. All right. One should remember here. T equal to that is T equal. Please note on this. T equal to two pi r divided by what? V naught. Time period equal to what? Two pi r nothing but circumference divided by what? Orbital velocity. This is equal to two pi r divided by what is orbital velocity? Orbital velocity equal to square root of gm divided by what? R. Now I will substitute here that is gm divided by what? Rm. Next, I will modify this equation equal to 2 pi square root of gm into here r. It comes in numerator. And this I will take in the numerator, sorry, this will become R Q raised to what? 1 by 2. I think you understood this. Here, what I made is this, I have taken this R, I have taken within the square root. That means R square into R becomes what? And remember, T square equal to 4 pi square 
divided by what gm into what rq this is what i said and also i discussed in the previous class here the variable quantity is what the variable quantity is t square y here it is the x side is what r and other factors are what remains a constant so the t square is directly proportional to what r q is and remember students this time period it is purely depends upon the mass of the not satellite suppose the moon rotates around the earth it is the mass of not moon it is the mass of earth suppose earth rotates around the sun this is the mass of the sun not this one is here already told you that is here elliptical shape here of one of one any object is there this is the what sun that is what sun that is and here it is a satellite or any earth rotates here now the question is whether this m is mass of the earth or sun that is remember students this is the mass of this that is sun or sometimes here moon rotates around the earth that means it is the mass of earth not moon that is okay it is independent of it is independent of mass of the object which is rotating that is it is independent of what mass of the object which is rotating now okay with this idea now i will start my discussion that is now read the problem first <clears throat> the distances of neptune and saturn from the sun are the distances of what neptune and the distances the distances of neptune and saturn one minute let it one more question is there probably ah okay now a planet moving around the sun area a1 that is area is what a1 that is a a1 in two days and a2 in what 3 days and a3 in what 6 days here what is the relation between a1 a2 and a3 that is read this from carefully that is a planet is moving around the sun that planet covers the area what a1 in what 2 days a2 is the area in what 3 days and a3 is the area in what 6 days and we need to find the relation between a1 a2 and a3 that is it is purely based on the aerial velocity that is aerial velocity here now use the equation a1 divided by t1 equal to a2 divided by t2 equal to a3 divided by t3 this one use it now a1 in covers in how many days here two days so that can i write a1 divided by 2 equal to a2 i am writing a2 is the covers in how many days here three days divided by 3 equal to a3 divided by in how many days it is six days no six days now take the lcm of it the lcm is what six now by taking the lcm and all that now this answer will be what it is 3a1 equal to 2a2 equal to what a3 this this is the answer 3a1 equal to 2a2 equal to what a3 that is here now the right choice is now this is the right choice yes a1 equal to 2a2 equal to what a3 in this concept what i use here that is a, the concept of a, the aerial velocity i used here next the distances of neptune and saturn from sun are okay the distances of what which planet one is what the distances of the distances of 
mature and other one is Saturn or 10 to the power of 30, 10 to the power of what? 30. And another one is what? That is 10 to the power of what? 12 that is. For the Saturn, it is 10 to the power of what? 12 that is. 12 meter it is. This also meter, this also meter, this spectrum. Assuming that they move in circular orbits, their periodic times will be in the ratio. Now, here, second, third law, you have to use it. What is that second law, third law it is? Third law is T square is directly proportional to what it is, R cube, that is. But we need to find not T square, we need to find what? T, that is. So that T is directly proportional to R to the power of what? 3 by 2, that I have to use it. That means, now I will use T1, one minute, that is T1 divided by T2 equal to R1 divided by R2 raised to what? 3 by 2. Yes or not? Yes. T1 by T2. T1 stands for what? T1 stands for what? Neptune, that is one night. T1 stands for Neptune, that is. For Neptune, it is how much it is that? 10 to the power of 30. And for this, another one, it is 10 to the power of what? 12 is that. So that I will write here T1, T1 divided by T2 equal to R1 divided by R2 raised to 3 by 2. Now T1 divided by T2 equal to 10 to the power of 13 divided by 10 to the power of 4. So raised to what? 1 by 2. So that here 110, 110 get cancels. It becomes what? 10. 10 to the four. Oh, I made one mistake here. It is not 1, it is what? 3 by what? Two. 10 to the power of 3 by 2. 10 to the power of 3 by 2. That means square root of 10. Can I write like this? Square root of 10, square root of 10 into square root of what? 10 here. What is square root of 10 into 10? This becomes, this will become square root of 10 into square root of 10 equal to what? 10 into what? Root of what? This should be the answer for it. Take it. 10 into square root of 4. 10. This is the right choice. Now, this is the right choice. Okay. I think it's clear this. Probably I saw you in the previous class also that is. Because in this problem has given the, what are the parameters is given here? Here has given that is a radius, sorry, distance has given here, 10 to the power of 13, and what? 10 to the power of 12 has given it. Okay, next. Another one. The radius of orbit of a planet is two times that of the Earth. Okay. The radius of, the radius of orbit of, the radius of orbit of, orbit of planet is two times that of the what earth here. The time period of planet is approximately that is. Read the question that is carefully. The radius of what has given here? The radius of the radius of planet is two times that of the earth. The time period of the planet is respected, is what? Right. Now, use the equation. Same thing is T of planet divided by T of Earth, T of what? Earth, equal to what I write? R of planet divided by R of what? Earth raised to what? 3 by 2. This is equal to. But he said that radius of the orbit of a planet is two times that of the Earth. That means this is 2R divided by what? R raised to what? 
3 by 2. What is R? R is the radius of what? Earth. R is the radius of the Earth. Planet is what? Twice of it. Now, which factor get cancelled? You look into this. This R, this R is what? Get cancelled. Then what is left here? 2 to the power 3 by 2. Then how to keep? A root of 2 into root of 2 into what? A root of 2. What is root 2 into root 2? It is. This root 2 into root 2, it becomes what it is? 2 it is. 2 of what? Root 2 it is. Then 2 root 2. Uh, approximately, it is 2 into 1.414. This is 2 for the 8, 2 and 2 for 8, 2 point. So that this must be approximately what? 2.8 years. Okay. So I would hope that you understood this. Next. Next question. <clears throat> A planet moves around the sun at a given point P. It is closest from the sun at a distance D1, that is, okay, one minute. Okay. At a given point P, it is closest to the what? Sun, that is, closest from the sun at a distance of what d1 and it has a speed is what v1 that is when it is closest another point q is there when it is farthest from the distance at a distance of what d2 its speed will be that is okay draw the diagram yes. okay now the sun is here now at this point the sun Okay, this is the closest point. This is farthest point. This point is Q. This point is what? P. Is. Here, the velocity at this point is what? At this point, velocity is V1. And this distance is what it is? D1 it is. And this distance is what? D2 it is. He's asking... What is the velocity at this point? V2 equal to what it is? Just take it. I have to use the law of conservation of what? Momentum that is. So then, can I use this? I'll draw the diagram once again. This is the sun. Okay. Here, this distance is what? D1. Velocity is what? V1. And this distance is what it is? D2 it is. And velocity is what it is? V2. So that, can I use the formula D1 V1 equal to D2 into what? V2. Just I could R1 V1 equal to R2 into what? V2. Therefore, V2 equal to D1 V1 divided by what? D2 it is. Check it. What is V2? V2 equal to what? D1 V1 divided by what? D2. So that the answer must be it is a D1 V1 one minute. Okay. Next question. D1 V1 is the answer. Because it's based on the what? Law of conservation of what? Angular momentum. So that this is the right answer. Next. Now, according to Kepler's third law, T square equal to what? K into what? R cube. That is, we know that. T square is directly proportional to what? R cube. K is a proportionality constant. Then the relation between G and K is, he is asking that. Relation between T and K. Oh. Now, already discussed this one here. P equal to what? P equal to, we know that equation, P equal to, I already told you, 
2 pi r divided by what? We are not trying to do. simplify all these factors here. This is equal to 2 pi r divided by what? Square root of what is that? Gm divided by what? R. Gm divided by what? R. That is. Then modify this equation. T equal to 2 pi square root of what? Gm into what? R cube it is. Not R cube. Uh, okay. It is R cube raised to what? 1 by 2 it is. Okay. That means square it, then t square equal to 4 pi square divided by what? Gm into what? R cube. What is the formula? t square equal to what? 4 pi square divided by what? Gm into what? R cube. That is here. t square is directly proportional to R cube in that now. The constant quantity is, this is the constant quantity. It's the constant quantity. That means constant k equal to 4 pi square divided by what? G m, that is. Then multiply it. By multiplying this, what you will get here? 4 pi square equal to k into what? G into what? M, that is. You see? K, G, M, that is. So that this is the direct choice. Yes? I repeat it like told you, this is very, very important, this equation. T equal to 2 pi r by V naught. You should know the formula for the orbital velocity. Or else you should know this t square equal to 4 pi square divided by gm into what? R q is. Next. Which factor does not change in the field of central force? Angular momentum, it is, students. This is the angular momentum. This is the law of conservation of what? Angular momentum, actually. But kinetic energy changes. As you know that velocity changes, then kinetic energy also what? Changes. As kinetic changes, energy changes, potential energy is also what? Changes. But not linear momentum. It is what? Angular momentum. That is, I told you that is. D is one minute. This is. Okay. What is that equation? We know that. Da by dt equal to angular momentum L divided by what? 2m. This is L is called as what? Angular momentum. This is the quantity. It will not change. Next. Hold again. I write down this equation also. That is, I told you everything that is L divided by 2m equal to what? Constant it is. Okay. This equation, how it comes up, so I told you this is this quantity. I told you that is area of triangle, area of triangle equal to off into R into R into what theta that is. Next. In planetary motion, aerial velocity of a position vector of a planet depends on angular velocity omega. Wait. In planetary motion, aerial velocity of a position vector of a planet depends on angular velocity. He said that angular velocity omega. And the distance of the planet from the sun, it depends upon omega and r. If so, what is the correct relation for aerial velocity? That means dA by dt, is it omega? or omega square r, omega r square, or omega by r, that is. Okay, now, here, already I told you, dA by dt equal to L divided by what? 2m, we know that. Already I told you, several times I told you this equation. See, here, 
is it not this da by dt equal to what l divided by what 2l this what is l here we know that l equal to here i'll write da by dt equal to l divided by 2m angular momentum equal to it is mv into what r it is but we know that v equal to what v equal to r into omega we know this so that i will write m into what v into r into what r so that yeah, we one minute. I made a mistake here. Okay. Okay. Here. Da by dt equal to what? Da by dt equal to L divided by 2m. That is equal to 1 by 2m. L nothing but what? M into what? V into what? R. That is, we know this. But what is V? V equal to R into what? Omega. This is equal to 1 by 2M. Of course, this M, M into what? V nothing but R omega into what? R. So that this quantity is directly proportional to R square into what? Omega. I'll write this. R square into what? Check your answer. Which question? Which is right twice. Da by dt is uh, omega square. Ah, this is the right choice. R square into omega. R square into omega or omega r square. Check it if one. No. This one. R square into omega. Next. Okay. The figure shows the elliptical orbit of a planet M about the sun S. The shaded portion portion S C D that is this is the shaded portion. This is the shaded portion. This is the shaded portion. The shaded portion S C D is twice the area. Yes, A, B, that is this one that is compared to this, that is. That means if this is 2A, then I will write this, I will write what? A, I will write. See the question that is. The figure shows the elliptical orbit of a planet M about the sun, yes. The shaded area, yes, C, D, it is not comma, that is, remember that is. The shaded area, you read it as a Yes, C, D, it is. Twice the area, yes, A, B, it is. Read it as a yes, A, B, it is. This area is more compared to what this. Next. If T1 is the time required for this time is what? T1 is. Then this is the time required for is what? T2, that is. He is asking the question, what is the relation between the T1 and T2? It is, it is again, it is based on the what? Aerial velocity. For this case, what is the area? 2A divided by T1 equal to, for this area A divided by what? T2. Yes, sir. Because with respect to this, it is 2A by what? T1. With respect to this, it is what a by k to that is. Now, which factor get cancelled says now this a, this a is what get cancelled. Then cross multiply it so that you are getting t1 equal to what? 2 t2 it is. t1 equal to what? 2 t2. Or else, yeah, this is the what? Right answer. Is it? Think there is only two. One is law of conservation of angular momentum, aerial velocity, and another one is what? T square is directly proportional to what? R cube. That's all it is. Yes. Okay. Here, so I've written this solutions. A1 by T1 equal to what? A2 by what? T2. I have written this. But 
here a1 is nothing but what it is a1 is nothing but this quantity equal to what to a2 is substitute here then t1 equal to 2a2 divided by a2 into what t2 it is so that this this get cancels so that what is left here t1 equal to 2 times the fourth to t that's it so that this is the what the right answer this is the right so what this is the correct answer next question okay the ratio of kinetic energy of a planet at the points 1 and 2 is okay what is the question that is at the points this is the one and this is the what two that is okay what is this distance here r1 what is this distance here r2 here what is the velocity here v1 what is the velocity at this point here v2 it is mass is same Mass is what? Same. He is asking the ratio of kinetic energy of the planet. He is asking. Okay, fine. In order to find the kinetic energy, I need V1 by V2. I need square I need. For that, you see, I am using V1 R1 equal to what? V2 R2. How it is? It is based on the law of conservation of angular momentum. Of course, mass get cancels. That is what that modify this equation. It is a V1 by V2 equal to R2 divided by what? R1. Yes, the number is V1 by V2 equal to R2 by R1. Then kinetic energy is directly proportional to what? It is V square. That's why kinetic energy even divided by e2 equal to v1 square divided by what v2 square but students here you see v1 by v2 equal to what it is r2 divided by what r substitute this square it so that it becomes what v1 square divided by v2 square is directly proportional to what r2 square divided by r1 square or else i will keep it like this r2 divided by r1 of what whole square it is okay now check it which is the right answer what is that r2 divided by r1 into what whole square What is that? R2 by what? R1 square. No? So that this is the right answer. Why? R1 whole square. Next. Okay. Which of the following graph represents the motion of the planet moving about the sun? Already discussed. He has plotted the graph t square against what r cube. He has plotted the graph. Right. We know that t square equal to, we know that formula. We know that formula t equal to 2 pi square root of what r cube by what gm that is. Then simplify this square it both side here. t square equal to what? 4 pi square into what r cube divided by what gm that is this equation again i will modify this equation here t square equal to 4 pi square divided by what gm into what r cube that is yes same thing now you see he plotted the graph this is t square it is what y axis it is along what it is x axis equal to m what is m here slope here that means it is y equal to mx y equal to mx means 
it must be a straight line that is it must be a straight line now the question is of course it's a straight line whether this graph is correct or this graph is correct which graph is correct here? this graph or this graph but look into this where when r equal to 0 t is also what 0 it is you see when r equal to 0 t is also what 0 so that it must be what it must be a passing through what origin lines it must be a passing through origin this is the right here also straight line is there, but it is not passing through what? Origin that is. This is, no, it will be parabolic curve. It is not, this is not, not a curve. That is. Next. Very interesting question now. Important students, I am The period of moon's rotation around the Earth is approximately 29 days, which is rotating here. Moon rotates. Around what it is rotating here? Earth is rotates. If moon's mass were increased by two times, it is what moon's mass is increased by what? Two times that of the initial value present but all other parameters remains unchanged. All other parameters, it may be density, distance, order, kinetic energy, order it may be. Then what is the new period of moon's rotation? Okay. So then in this problem, you say here, this is the elliptical shape here, which is rotating here? Moon is rotating around what? Earth. This is what around Earth. What is rotating here? Moon is rotating. Okay. Now here is a moon that is. This is a moon rotates. Here the question is mass comes of what? Either the moon or Earth. The Earth that is what? The moon's mass. Moon's mass. Not Earth mass. But we know the equation t square equal to 4 pi square divided by gm into what r cube. So remember, this is the m mass related to earth it is. Related to what? Earth. Not of more. So that here, everything is constant. 4 is constant, pi is constant, g constant, m constant, r is what? Everything is constant. That means the time period it will remain same. It is immaterial. The mass of the moon is immaterial. Whether it is increased by two times or three times or off, it is immaterial. So the initial also it is 29 days. And after increasing the mass is also what it is? 29 days only. It will not change. Next. What is that? The T is independent of mass of what? Moon. But depends on the mass of the what? Planet around which it moves. Next. A satellite P of mass M at a distance of R from the center of the Earth. Another satellite Q of mass 2M at a distance 2R from the Earth's center. The time periods are in the ratio that is. The time, yes, think it. There is the problem that is. One satellite is there. Who is the satellite here? P that is. Of mass is what? Yeah. At what distance it is? R. And another satellite Q is there. Of mass is what? 2M. At what distance it is there here? 2R. Distance is what? 2R. From the Earth's center. The time periods are in the ratio that is. Remember. Always time period is independent of mass of the satellite. Time period is independent of what? Mass of the satellite. Please note down that. Time period is independent of time period is independent of time period is independent of independent of mass of the satellite. Satellite. 
but it depends upon the mass around which it moves. That is around which it moves. Just I discussed in the previous case. Only distances are different. So that in this case here now p square. Okay, no space. Okay, now it is p one square divided. Okay, or is p one divided by p two is directly proportional to r one by r two of what? Q. R t raised to what? Three by two. It is three by two. Then substitute the values of one is r and another one is what? Two r. So that. T one divided by T two is directly proportional to R divided by two R raised to what three by two. Now which factor get cancels here now? Because first one is distance is what R. Second one is what is the distance here two R. This is two R. So that this this get cancels. Then simplify it. It becomes one R two one is to what this the right choice. Because t1 divided by t2 equal to one divided by square root of two, square root of two into what square root of two? What is square root of two into square root of two? It is two. This thing. This is right twice. Next. Okay. Last question, please. The kinetic energy of a planet in an elliptical orbit around the sun at positions A, B, and C. That is, this is A. Where is A? This is the A. And this is what B. That is, and this is the point what C. That is, see, already told. Now the satellites rotates like this. As satellite moves like this here. It is very closer to the sun now. When it is very closer to the sun, where velocity is more, that means kinetic energy is also more. At what point it is A. Next B, it is less. So that kinetic energy is also what less. At this point, still the velocity is minimum. V is what minimum. Here V is maximum. It is maximum. That means. Kinetic energy is more at A, less at B. Still, it is less at what C. That means K A greater than K B greater than what K C is the right choice. Okay. And one more problem. Just you only try it here. Here again, the maximum and the minimum distance of comet from the sun has given R one and R two has given the rest. The maximum and minimum distances. Maximum means one minute. Here, the maximum uh, distance here, like to one minute. Here, your sun is here. That is the maximum and minimum distance. This is a from here to here has given. What is this? Eight into ten to the power of four tall. Here the velocity is what v two. I will call it s. And here at this point, r one has given here. What is r one here? One point six into ten to the power of four tall. That is to have to. This also meter. This also what meter? And I know that at this point velocity is more. At this point velocity is what less. Has given v one has given we need to calculate what v two is which formula v one into r one equal to v two into what r two substitute I want to calculate v two v two equal to v one r one divided by what r two substitute all the values and then calculate what is v one sixty is okay I will write here. V two equal to what is the value of V one? Sixty into R one. R one is how much? One point six into ten to the power of four tall divided by this is how much it is? Eight. Eight into ten to the power of four tall. So that this this get cancelled. Eight one ja. This is point two. 
60 into quanto, it becomes equal to 12. It becomes what? 12 meter per second. That is what I am. Take it. 12 meter per second. Any answer is there? Yes. Okay, students, now I will stop my discussion at this point. I will end it.